impact cardio. For four, for three, for two, and one. Good job, you guys. Nice big shoulder roll, and you are done. Hey guys, here, let me put you all on the tripod so we have a little distance between us. Ah, that's better. Now I'm going to do my skincare routine. I just did a little standing abs routine that I like to do first thing in the morning. It's kind of get the blood flow in. I do my actual workout in the evening, but I do find that I'm just slow to slow to start in the morning. So if I do a little five to 10 minute light workout routine, it gets me going. And that of course, my best friend, coffee, but that actually just transforms me into a human being from a gargoyle. It's magical, really. Speaking of magic, <laughs> I, I always get, does anybody else get tempted by oral hygiene project, pro projects? Does anyone else get tempted by oral hygiene products? I sure do. And I go through phases with mouthwash and rinse. This called to me, this ACT whitening anti-cavity fluoride mouthwash helps remove surface stains, zero alcohol, strengthens enamel and protects teeth, kills bad breath germs. Anyways, so I floss at nighttime and I actually floss twice a day. I'm just gonna break down my oral routine for you before I wash my face because I don't know, just decided that it might be helpful. I floss twice a day. This is the dental floss that I'm currently using, Poco floss. I floss first, spend a good amount of time flossing. And then this is the toothpaste I've been using lately, my Colgate. It's okay, I've been using it because it's been, uh, they've had a coupon at Kroger and it's been on Ibotta, which is a rebate app that I use. But I'm not loyal to any one particular toothpaste, honestly, and I feel like they make all sorts of elaborate claims, but as long as it has fluoride, I am down. I'm down to ride. And then for the past week, I have been doing this. After I brush, swish for a minute and spit out. And then I would I don't I try not drink or eat anything for 30 minutes afterwards. I've already done this this morning, I just didn't fill them in. Anyways, fluoride, you know, people like to fear monger fluoride in toothpaste. I'm not a dentist, but fluoride in toothpaste, it's such a low amount that it's like not anything you would ever, I don't know, it's one of those things that people like to fear monger where it's like really, the dose is just so, so insignificant. Like, I don't know. Anyways, fluoride in toothpaste is really helpful for preventing cavities. Um, but I will say one downside of fluoride in toothpaste is that some people, it triggers their perioral dermatitis. And it's not necessarily the fluoride per se, but rather the SLS in the toothpaste required to kind of, I guess, dissolve the, the uh, status fluoride can be quite high and can be irritating around the mouth, trigger perioral dermatitis. So a trial of a fluoride-free toothpaste for those folks is fine. You know, it, it's what we suggest sometimes. But all in all, I want to be clear, fluoride and toothpaste is a good thing. And the rinse, I don't know, am I getting more benefit? I feel like I get just a little bit more surface area coverage perhaps with this. Like it can get in between the fluoride in between my teeth better than brushing could. Maybe that's all in my head, but I figure it can't hurt. <clears throat> and I want to keep my teeth healthy as long as possible. Wouldn't that be something if that was the next wave of, of fads on the internet was oral hygiene routines, you know? So we already have clean fluencers, skin fluencers, makeup and beauty gurus, hair care, but we don't really have like people just brushing and flossing their teeth. Um, if you wanna start a channel, there's something for everybody on the internet. And that would be, that would be a good niche. You could review different toothpaste. Um, you could review different mouth rinses, your top five mouth rinses of all time. I would, I would actually watch that. 
I'm telling you. If you're, especially if you're a dental hygienist, I feel like that would be a good side, side hustle. <sighs> I finished the Peach Slices Sal Acid Cleanser. Highly recommend that. But I've been trying out the Cetaphil's new Healthy Radiance Gentle PHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I bought this on the Amazonian. But I think it's currently on Ibotta right now. Or at least Cetaphil products in general are. Ibotta is that rebate app that I use. Highly recommend it. I have gotten so much cash back over the years on that app. Um, that and the Drop app. Um, I highly, I, I have a lot of fun with. I mean, you're not gonna get loaded on there, but it's just fun. Anyways, so far I've been liking this. It has polyhydroxy acids, which are gentle and can help improve um, skin cell turnover. It has some plant extracts, peppermint leaf extract. Now, I don't know, that could be irritating for some people, but it's not like peppermint oil or anything. So it doesn't tingle. And it's not super foamy. It's got a hint of foam, but it's not, it's not a heavy, it's not a heavy foamer and frother. This angle is Emmy a winning, Emmy a winning, Emmy award winning. My gosh, you see what coffee does for me? It makes me able to articulate my words. Oh, I need to clean my sink. I took that orange nail polish off over the sink, you know, with the acetone and it made splatters in my sink as it was coming off. Washing your face like I just did first thing in the morning is not necessary at all. In fact, as we get into the winter months, I would encourage you to consider not doing that because over cleansing is what leads to dryness, irritation, flares of acne. I mean, there was really no reason for me to wash my face just then, but I did anyway. <laughs> it can, it can help some of your skincare products penetrate a little better. So I've been coming in with this PCA pigment gel first thing in the morning. It has kojic acid, azelaic acid, and um, lactic acid to help with hyperpigmentation and skin texture. And then I actually think today I'm gonna wear this Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I actually like this. I, I like the natural sun cream too, the mineral version. I have a lot of sun, sunscreens in rotation right now. Those two, because I wanted to do that review for you guys, I've been trying out a lot. And this has really been my go-to, but one complaint about this, I store it standing upright like this, and whenever I open it up, there's always like a little fallout in the cap. Well, not now. Um, and I feel like it's wasting. I prefer it though to those pump bottles, because I always feel like, pump bottles, especially of thicker formulations, they often, you often have so much product stuck in the interior of the packaging that you never get out. These kind of tubes I like though, because you can really get everything out. And see, unlike that, which is just a hole, you have this little pointer, so it doesn't leak. I like that, all right, my face is dry. All right, coffee time. Sometimes I don't wanna take these little hair things off cause I don't know, I just feel like they're kinda cute. Oh, update on these, I forget what they're called, good. A viewer sent these to me. They do do, this particular size does do the triple twist to hold a good ponytail. So I wanted to update you all on that cause some of you were asking and I like them cause they don't, I don't really dent the hair. Ugh. So I've kind of tidied up my kitchen a little bit and rearranged some things so it's less cluttered here and I'm kind of liking it. I'm just spraying down with my all-purpose countertop spray. And I got these soft reusable microfiber cloths on the Amazonian. I've been really happy with them. I feel like I do this every day and like, I don't understand how it gets so messy because it's not like I'm 
doing that much over here, making coffee and I guess cooking, but I'm not really that messy. So I moved my blend tech over here. I use this every day to make smoothies. It's really good. Um, I moved it to this little corner and then at one point I had had my my frother over there. And I was like, why do I have it over there when I make hot beverages over here? So I moved it over here to the side of my little beverage station. Usually my French press is here, but the beaker is in the dishwasher. As soon as I pull it out, it will live there. But yeah, I moved my little frother over here. This I love, by the way. It really, it, you can do hot or cold froth. It's called Secura. Because I, I don't drink coffee lattes, but I make tea lattes with uh, turmeric tea. And I just put the tea crystals, because I use those peak tea crystals, I just put them directly in there and with the, with the almond milk and a little bit of stevia. And it froths up the almond milk and dissolves the little crystals, because they dissolve really quickly. Anyways, in my, here's my little tea box if you were sent me. I think this came from maybe um, World Market. And I have my teas in there. Someone asked about this. I got it in last season's FabFitFun box. I love it. It's really good for, um, I've been cooking the cranberries in there and it's good for making little soups and stuff. And then this one I've always had, it's from Lake Creuset. And it's great because you can see it. it's gotten a lot of love. The heart shape is good for pouring stuff out. So I like to make oatmeal and stuff in that. And then that's that little gadget that I got for resting the steamy drippy lid in and I love it. I saw that in a Gen Shapen video. So I really like that. And then over there in the corner is my little is my little herb garden with two types of basil and parsley. That's the food. And that is an old French press beaker that I use to water it. Because I sprayed the countertop, my tripod is like slipping and sliding. Anyways, <laughs> I bet I'm really happy with this new flavor coffee from Four Siggy, the immune support ground coffee. It's pretty good. Let me know if you've tried it. I don't know why I would expect otherwise their coffees are always really good i saw they carry them at sprouts too Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to Kroger and I'm going to a different Kroger because I just don't want to deal with that construction by the one I usually go to because it just takes too long these days to get over there and I'm kind of, I don't know, I have some stuff I want to do and I don't really want to be out and about, but I need to. Anyways, uh, speaking of groceries, have you guys noticed the um, price of groceries going up? I hear people commenting on that. I haven't really noticed it myself. I was really all comfy in my house clothes, as I call them, while I was doing my, I was doing some editing before I came out, and I didn't feel like coming to the store, so I had to get myself motivated. I kind of, I put on some lip gloss, I put my hair up in a ponytail, put on some J-Lo earrings, and look at me, getting all dressed up to go to the, get produce. So I'm going to go to Kroger. I need to get gas, but... The Kroger that I'm going to, I do not trust the gas tanks because they commonly have been known to have those little devices installed on them that steal your credit card information, and I'm not about that life. I only go to Costco to get my gas, but in order to go to Costco, I have to go through that, I have to go through that construction fiasco. So it's like lose two hours of my life waiting in construction or have my identity stolen. These are the choices of the day. But uh, 
be grateful I have a car to drive, I have an identity to steal, and I have groceries to buy and can buy. Should I go to Sprouts first? No, I'm just going to go to Kroger. I want to go to Sprouts, but the problem with Sprouts is I don't, they don't really have some of the things that I actually need, but they have a lot of stuff I don't need that will, that I will buy, and then I'll still have to come to Kroger. And I just organized my pantry too, so I'm not going to, I'm not allowed to impulse buy sauces and seasonings and things that I don't have space for. I mean, I have, I could make space for, but it just, you know, when everything's all tidy and neat, you don't want to go junking it up with some exotic coriander. <laughs> oh, this Kroger has an abundance of, check out these cards. Kind of like a happy medium between small cards that I like and those massive cards I detest. Ooh, Kroger has some pretty arrangements in. What kind of flower is that? It looks like a mushroom. Some pretty sunflowers. This is the nail color I have been using, the PCH Love Song by OPI. I really like it, but I'm eyeing some of these other colors. I love this color actually, but I don't know how it would look on the nails. I kind of like this too. This taupe. Espresso, your inner self. That's pretty. Speaking of oral care, what the heck is this overnight whitening pen? This is the micro needling of the dental world. It's vegan and enamel safe. Oops, just dropped it. $24.99. I'm looking for my little dental pick flosser things. I, I haven't used those in a while, but those are another oral hygiene favorite. Sensodyne. I was using Sensodyne for a while there. I don't have tooth sensitivity though, so I really couldn't chime in on as to the efficacy in terms of reducing tooth sensitivity well hey guys i'm back i ordered some things that came on amazon some tops i'm going to show you actually just really just one and then the other one is part of my halloween costume <laughs> so i got you know my new year's resolution was to wear more color and i have to say i've been doing a really good job we only have two more months left of the year and i'm giving myself a pat on the back <laughs> anyways so i got this sweat sweater long sleeve sweater i just love this color um it's from calvin klein and they made them in a few different colors it's got a turtleneck but it's a really nice fabric and i really like this blue color so i got that if you guys can see looks like it's gonna come to about mid hip and there's not a lot of branding, but there is a little, a little thing here stitched in place. And for my Halloween costume, pretend I'm a carrot. So that's basically it, this shirt. It kind of is like the low effort, but I put a little more effort into it. And I got myself something that I think will look like a carrot top or at least I'm hoping. I guess these are popular to wear to like sporting events with like your team color or whatever. It's some headband. Don't ask me. I'm not a sports enthusiast. Anyways, um I thought it would go I thought it would look like a carrot top because it's like a headband. It's kind of weird. This is like black thread in there. Actually, that is, <laughs> that's perfect. That is actually perfect for the pretend I'm a Karen vibe. 
Oh, and I can wear this. The reason I also got this is I thought I could wear it for fun on St. Patrick's Day. Not like the whole day, but wouldn't that be funny if I filmed a video that went up on St. Patrick's Day and I was wearing this? It's actually really soft and fluffy. And let's see if my ponytail will fit. Wow, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I thought it, I mean, it, granted it's not like a Cartier headband or anything, <laughs> listen to me. It's actually pretty and nice quality for a carrot top. Oh, I'm really happy with that actually. Why do I like this so much? <laughs> and it's kind of a versatile thing, like it could be incorporated into future costumes, like you could wear all green, and be matcha or something. <laughs> well, hey guys, update on this Tatcha, I don't know what the heck it's called, Indigo Overnight Repair. I think it's called, it builds itself as a sleep mask, which is just a fancy name for PM moisturizer. <laughs> so, this was sent to me in PR and I made a reel a while ago and I joked in the reel that the best way to use this or something to the extent of like use this to clobber an intruder because it is really weighty. It almost feels like here, okay, you guys kind of at a funky angle. It feels like a weighty, a paperweight, you know, like, boo, you could break a window with it. And while it's insanely overpriced and typically I don't, really recommend Tatcha products because they mostly have fragrance. This does not have fragrance. And I have to say, objectively speaking, it's actually pretty good. Do you need to run out and buy this? No. Is it any, you know, is it superior to an affordable drugstore moisturizer? No, not at all. But it's not bad. So I've been using it, trying to use it up. I don't like stuff to go to waste. I really detest waste. And as a matter of fact, one thing I really get excited about is finishing a skincare product because I feel like you get a really good sense of the efficacy of a product going from start to finish. I mean, you can kind of get a sense of how well a cleanser is going to work after, you know, one, maybe two times using it. But when we're talking about a moisturizer, I really think that you can critically evaluate it in a different light once you have gone from start to finish. Speaking of... Speaking of moisturizer, I'm trying to get better at, at my elbows <laughs> because they are some of the most viewed territory on the body. Um, and a great moisturizing ingredient and in products to use for the elbows is lac lactic acid, ammonium lactate, it's what's in amlactin. And this particular product by Neostrata has lactic acid in it. It also has polyhydroxy acids, I think, which can help soften dry built up skin cells. This is expensive. I got it on Skin Store. I think my code still works, but I have really been liking this. It's also great if you've got keratosis pilaris. Yeah, I got a new Aqui hair towel, if you didn't notice, in this avocado green color, which I think this color was popular like in the 70s for interior decorating and if I ever if I ever buy an, a home I think I might do incorporate this color into it because I just like this color so much not shag carpet although I wonder if some degree of shag carpet will ever make a comeback it's interesting how things come and go as far as what goes in and out of style and I always like that that has not made an appearance and most people whether they like modern decor or not, they're not so into carpet, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's the kind of thing that holds on to dust mites, but it reduces echo. It just makes the room feel cozier. I like rugs and things like that. So I wonder if shag carpet will ever make a comeback. Uh, yeah, furniture from the 70s. Uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like the whole interior decorating decor vibe of the 70s. It's a side note. As a matter of fact, that movie that I watched a few months ago, uh, A Clockwork Orange, wow, that movie, it's one of those that I think about all the time. The plot, the way the characters were in that movie, uh, yeah, highly recommend that film. I mean, it's very violent and disturbing and graphic. It is definitely not 
It's definitely not friendly for the children, but it is good. Anyways, the interior decor in that movie is, I love it. I would never have that in my home to that extreme, but I like some of the elements that were incorporated in that. I mean, it's a little extreme in terms of the bright colors and kind of patchy work pieced together. And the angles in that movie, the way the, the camera angles were and things were almost kind of, almost sort of like a rhomboid shape. You kind of got that sense with the way the couch was shaped when they were the living room scene. I don't know, yeah. I digress. I hate that thing. I always trip on it, the little door thing that keeps the door from slamming. Yeah. I had a cat once when I was growing up that would bat at that and was just obsessed with that sound of the little stopper thing when it was a kitten it would do that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you for coming along. I hope you're having a great weekend. And when you're watching this, it should be Saturday night and tomorrow is Halloween. So comment below on if you are gonna dress up for Halloween. Let me know what you're gonna dress up as, or maybe you already have. So let me know what your costume is, was. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.